MUC College of Nursing has always prepared advanced practice nurses um, at the master's level. And when the American Colleges of Nursing and Education decided that they wanted the entry level for the nurse practitioner to be the doctor of nursing practice, we developed our, our program as a DMP. Um, and we started in 2008, and we have graduated 239 um, graduates since 2009. We decided that our program needed to be asynchronous because knowing our needs as a rural state, we wanted our students to be able to live, work, and practice in the areas where they're from. Many of them are from rural areas and we know many times that where you practice and where you are a student, many times you end up getting a position or job. And that has been true for many of our graduates. So um, it was very important that we continue to allow these registered nurses, because they are registered nurses when they enter our program, to continue to practice and go to school as needed, because that's modern day. Um, education is expensive, and students many times still need to work in addition to being able to go to school. We know that over 66 million people live in rural areas. Um, in looking at that, we also know that one out of five persons in South Carolina lack a primary care provider. On top of that, we know that physicians who graduate, only 4.8% of them enter the primary care workforce at this point. So there is a shortage. The shortage is predicted to worsen. And so this is where advanced practice nurses come in in being able to serve primary care um, needs of communities. Abby Rashad was a uh, excellent student in our program and she is a pediatric nurse practitioner in the Hartsville practice. Um, she exemplifies one of our typical graduates going to an underserved area to provide primary care where they are definitely in need of primary care providers. From the moment the Dean of Nursing came into one of my undergraduate classes and announced that the medical university was going to have a new online program for nurse practitioners, I knew I wanted to be a doctor of nursing practice. This program was attractive to me because it was online and made my continuing education possible. Most working adults and professionals are going to head in the direction of online education and it will make higher education possible for a lot more people. Nurse practitioners um, are able to provide the advanced practice care, primary care. We are able to treat episodic illnesses as well as monitor chronic illnesses, uh, long-term health needs of patients and families, um, and also provide well care through the lifespan. And in addition to doing that, nurse practitioners at the master's level are prepared to do that. One of the great things about having doctorally prepared nurse practitioners is that they are able to look at the community health needs, the state health needs, to be able to say, how can we serve this population? How can we have better health outcomes? The take home message is that advanced practice nursing has been here since the 60s. We are autonomous. We practice independently and in collaboration with physicians. In this state, we are considered to be supervised by physicians, but there is a movement for us to be able to work more in a collaborative type relationship. It's important for people to understand that advanced practice nurses provide both illness care and wellness care through the lifespan, and they are trying to help families negotiate um, and have the best health outcomes that they can.